guys, I'm Narendra the comic, and right now we're just going to be reacting to the Spider-Man Far From Home International teaser trailer. Trailer. Now, yesterday, Sony and Marvel put out a teaser trailer. It was an all-out trailer. It was two minutes and 45 seconds long. But apparently, they put out two trailers in one day. This is an international trailer. It's only two minutes, 10 seconds long. Hopefully, it's not just uh, recut images and footage of the last trailer. Of the one, I mean, last trailer. It was the first trailer, but this was also the first trailer because it came out at the same... Same time on the same day. But uh, hopefully there's some new footage in this. Let's get to it. Let's go. Also, Mysterio, he looked banging. Let's go. Oh, it's already different footage. Okay. Oh, has he got his suit? Uh. Uh. <laughs> These, no. <laughs> this, that actually happened to me in real life. Oh, shit. Not with the Spider-Man suit. Oh, that's funny. Oh. Two weeks in Europe is gonna be great. Wow, okay. I'm just gonna enjoy my trip, hang out with MJ. You look really, really pretty. And therefore, I have value. Oh, no, 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 that. that's not what I meant. I'm messing with you. <laughs> Already she better really cut. Me. That's really nice. Really reminds me of when. <laughs> <clears throat> so nice to finally meet you, Spider Man. You're Nick Fury. Put some clothes on. Let's go for a ride. I think Nick Fury just hijacked our summer That's vacation. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> we got gifts, Parker. But we have a job to do. Yeah, that's a cool scene. That is a nice. cool scene. You're all alone. Ah, oh, shit. That all alone problem. line. Here we go. Where's Mysterio gonna pop in? You don't want any part of this. Oh, he looks so damn good, you know. He's got the bowl on his head as well. I saw it while editing yesterday. I was like, oh, they did give him the bowl. Who is that guy? <sighs> He's like Iron Man and Thor rolled into one. He's no Spider-Man. What is it with you and Spider-Man? What? He looks out for the neighborhood, has a dope suit, and I really respect him. What's up, loser? Uh, that was, a, that was a good trailer as well. I think it was slightly faster paced. It did feel quicker than the other one. I mean, the other one was very well paced. Maybe this one was a bit too quick, but um, it had a different intro, which, you know, hopefully that will be part of the film because I think most people can relate to that. I mean, thankfully, I've never been patted down at an airport, you know, invasively or anything like that. Um, but I've done the, you know, open food and having food, you know, on a plane and then you come off or you're going onto the plane. They're just like, you can't have that. I'm like, but I can eat it now. They're like, no, we can chuck it. Um, but I want to eat it. They're like, no. I was like, I'm not going to argue with you. you. You have the permission to do what you want with me. So enjoy the sandwich, you know. Um, but yeah, it was, it was funny. I love how it's such an airport security type of thing to see like that Spider-Man suit and just be like, you have a banana here. You, you can't have that. Uh, and I haven't seen it being said by anyone else, but I think I might be right in saying that Mysterio is like the air elemental of this band of villains, but except he's maybe part of the heroes. Nick Fury has apparently um, roped him into helping them contain them, and the reason why he can help do that is because he is one of them, essentially. Uh, or he has the powers of one of them, you know. And Happy's line there, like, you're all alone, is sort of... It makes you feel that maybe uh, the big T-Man... Uh, might be uh, might be dead. I don't know. I'm switching between Cap and Tony as to who's gonna die. They might just kill both of them. You know, it could it would be really bad. It would be a bad business move to kill both of them. But uh, from this trailer, the fact there is no Tony Stark is a bit weird, considering how involved he is with Peter as a character and Spider-Man. So I would say it's a realistic cause for concern because. Um, it is weird that he's not in the trailer and also when in the last trailer when Peter was looking at his suit in his closet He didn't exactly look at it happily and maybe he's going on this trip to try and get rid of the memories of Infinity War possibly so maybe he remembers what happened in Infinity War I don't know if they've let everyone know who's gonna die But maybe they've let Tom Holland know it'll be a bit silly though because he's got one of the biggest mouths uh, in the MCU Which is hilarious, you know him and Mark Ruffalo are just are just ridiculously uh, great at press stores. They give you the information you want, but maybe Tony's dead. 
maybe he is. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then Spider-Man himself will come after you. He'll web you up himself, and you don't want that. You really don't, so just subscribe anyway to avoid that. Now, I've been Ninja Comic. You've been great, and I'll see you next time. Skadoosh.